Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to week 19 of Down Bad to Chat. Honestly, did not expect to record this shit right now, but I was like, you know what? Let's be spontaneous. So right now, I'm in the middle of the pound of chicken and just wanted to recap what has been done today. So today's Tuesday, it's not Monday. Monday was a recharge day for sure. I didn't do shit. So I was like, dude, you better go tomorrow. So that's what I did. And I'm pulling up what I did today and I'm gonna show it through my notes. So starting over the faster program once again, hopefully I'm still here consistently for the next like nine rough weeks because I need all the machines to follow this damn program. Let's talk about social set one was a shoulder press it was a seated dumbbell you can see it's reverse pyramid training the first set is four to six reps and then the next one is six to eight next is eight to ten next is ten to twelve and so the reps you see are what i did and for the amount of weight there's a fucking old guy that took the 30 pound weights today and i like was waiting i was like hopefully he'll finish soon and then he just kept fucking going i'm like dude i don't have all day so i just did 25 but ideally it would have been 40 35 30 25 but i did 25 twice as we can see next was squats dude guys my legs kill oh let me say t today's priority is shoulder and legs so let me uh, state that shoulder and legs okay so let's let's get her get her done okay so next was squats and this was uh, four reps or four sets for eight to ten reps i just did 95 which is two 25s on both sides guys i have fucking chicken legs don't expect some big shit but you got to work your way up to it you literally have to pick up heavy shit in chronological order like i can't just shortcut that's the unfortunate reality of being a skinny legend the next was lateral raises and then leg extensions so here i did 15 reps at 10 pounds Next was leg extensions for 12 reps. I did 35 pounds, that's on a machine. And now the superset that I fucked up uh, that last Monday before my Florida vacation. A superset is you do one set of something and then you do a complete other muscle group right after that and there's no breaks, you don't take a break. You doing the other workout is your break for that workout you just did. So with that, I did 12 reps of 35 pounds for hammer, bleh for hamstring curls, I was about to say hammer curls. And then right after that, after I would finish that 12 reps, then I would go find like a ledge and I would do uh, calf raises. And I just did my body weight and I'm like 135 pounds, 130, so that's that. The next set, the last set, which is the most grueling is, now it's three sets of 12 reps. So for, I did 15 pound dumbbells and I did up rows, upright rows. And then right after you do walking lunges, I walked in front of that whole fucking gym Anyway, I forgot how I was talking, got interrupted. But 20 reps per leg, lunch at 30 pounds. And 20 reps, bro, is, bro, bro, it took so long. Like, th this is just the one I hated the most. Like, this is the one I wanted to avoid the most. And uh, we fucking did it. Today week, or day one of week A. That's pretty cool. And I'm glad I set it up in the way I did on the notes. Cause before I was doing like paper and pen, I was like, I was so dumb the way I was recording it. So the system just upgraded with these little tables inside of the Apple notes. And I'm gonna make it like really structured. Like I'm gonna record week A and I'm gonna record week B, da, da, da. Now let's look at my fitness pal real quick. I'm on path for, if I eat everything right here, I bought some ready rice and I bought a pound of chicken. I'm at, 2000 right now so i need a, almost like 500 left so i don't know what the hell i'm gonna scavenge but that should be pretty easy that can literally just be like some ice cream or something but guys the mct oil bro let me get that the faster method guy he re recommended this to me mct oil he didn't recommend this brand i just found this one on amazon but look at these stats bro 130 per tablespoon so i put two tablespoons in here and that's 260 calories just blended in just drizzled so for the skinny boys out there i'm using this to gain weight and basically if you get into a rhythm of like eating a lot of food or you basically get your basically get your protein for the whole day and this helps increase your calories and then once i bulk up to a certain point okay i don't need to gain weight i just either need to maintain or like cut whatever i'm gonna do then you just remove this from your diet essentially you can basically eat the same thing every day but when you want to bulk you just add like four to six tablespoons a day, 130 per tablespoon. And then you can just gain crazy weight, bro. 
this was a fucking crazy hack like and uh I'm not a professional so make sure to do your research before you consume things i'm gonna be honest i didn't really research it much i just trusted the guy's word so maybe that's bad but i feel good so i'm gonna keep doing it i'm trying to gain weight i don't give a fuck like i mean eat, i'm eating i'm trying to eat healthy to kind of like counteract any fucking <laughs> negative side effects you know what i'm saying anyways yeah that's basically like this day this is tuesday and tomorrow i plan on going to the gym to because originally this workout was supposed to be monday wednesday friday and then my so this today would have been like a cardio like core workout day but i had to i had to do it so tomorrow would be yeah back in biceps and then friday is supposed to be chest and triceps really love this program because he only has you in the gym three times a week and then on the off days, you can basically just pick a sport you like. Maybe you play soccer, maybe you play basketball. That's that's all you need, bro. Just have a sport you love and just play. Because they don't want you to be in the gym six days a week. And I was like, yes, I love that philosophy. And it's really like an 80-20 principle where 20% of the actions get you 80% of the results. And it's definitely with this reverse pyramid training where you start at your heaviest for less reps and then you lower the weight, you increase the reps as you go down. It's an interest, like you can literally feel it as you're doing it, I think. But again, I'm only on day one. I've restarted this day one so many times. It's quite hilarious. But we're back. And uh, we're gonna fucking conquer this shit. And we're gonna gain weight, bro. It's kind of sad. 20 weeks in, I'm not fucking any bigger or any different. But this just shows you how incompetency leads to just... I'm, it's like a, a hamster wheel currently. I'm just... I'm literally running in place, it feels like. But... I'm not gonna hate on my past experiences because I did boxing and that was really fun and awesome. But my goal is to like become aesthetic and become more confident. I just have to like fill in my frame, like get muscular. And obviously confidence and da -da -da is a mental thing, absolutely. And that's something I'm working on, but it, it gets amplified. Just you basically get cheat codes in real life if you're just fucking fit, bro. It is what it is. And I wanna be physically strong, like to physically dominate and to physically attract. So. Your boy has to eat this fucking, this fucking bowl, a pound of chicken, I'm trying chicken. I, I've been doing a beef, ground beef, but I need to switch it up. Apparently this is more anti-inflammatory than beef and I have arthritis. So I actually am not supposed to be eating red meat according to my doctor. I was like, bro, everybody on Twitter and online, like they say, they say that shit's anti-inflammatory. They say that shit's good for you. I don't know who to trust, bro. All I know is I gotta eat clean, non-processed. That's it. Animals. Just eat fucking plants and animals. That's it. All right, I'm about to dig in. This is Tuesday. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, it's my third time fucking recording this, so welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Here we are on Wednesday, the 14th of June, halfway through the damn year. It's freaking wild. I wanted to recap what has gone on today. It's 6 p.m. The day is ending. I'm eating my pound of chicken with some rice. Got my agua. So I want to cover what I did today for workout and then what I did for walking and then food I ate so far today. Today was a back and bicep day on the faster method program. Program. Still on week A, which is week one. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't do the warm up, which says nasal breathing. Then it was dead hangs and then T spine rotation. And I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of cringing at having to do a T spine rotation in front of other people. And then me attempting to dead hang, I probably lasted like five to 10 seconds. Like my fingers have no freaking strength in them. So I avoided them, which is not good. You should do your warm ups, but fuck it. I just wanted to get her done. So the first set was just pull ups, and it was four sets. It's how many you can do but I have no, in terms of wide grip, I have no fucking strength. When I do chin-ups, I can do chin-ups because it's a combination of your bicep and it's just, it's just like the easiest pull-up in my opinion. What I had to do is I went to an assisted pull-up machine. That took me 10 minutes to figure out until I read the damn thing. And it was like, if you're a 150 pound person and you put it on 50, you're effectively lifting a hundred pounds. I'm like, oh, it's a subtractor. Cause I, my bitch has put it on like 160. <laughs> I was like, oh, the more weight, like the harder it'll be. And then it was so fucking easy. I'm like, am I stupid? Assisted pull-ups, this is how I did it. I'm 135. I put 80 pounds, so that subtracted would mean I'm doing pull-ups at 55 pounds, and I only did four. And that was like, and I did it super slow and controlled. Like, dude, I can feel it in my fucking back right now. Set two, we did weighted rows. I did, it was a machine, and I just put my chest up against it, and I just, and you squeeze your fucking lats. So 10 reps, four sets, 
at 25 on each side. I don't know if I total that to 50 or not, so I'm just saying 25, 25. The next set was a super set, and here we had to do seated incline dumbbell curls, and then after that you do shrugs. So for the curls, 20 reps of eight pounds, and then 15 reps of 35, and then the last two were 10 reps of 35 pounds for shrugs. So we're jumping off what we did yesterday, still hitting the shoulders to develop them, which I appreciate. And it was, and a superset as you, I've already explained this before, but I like to reiterate just for my own learning. You know, the more I can just repeat and regurgitate all the shit I'm learning and I'm like teaching to someone else, then it, it like ingrains deeper into my brain. Be inclined on the seat and I'd be doing my perfect fucking curls. No swinging, no nothing. And then after that 20, I'd get up and then immediately do shrugs. And so that time I'm doing shrugs is a wait time for here. So then the moment I'm done with shrugs, I jump right back into the, the curls. And man, it's a pump. I like it. I like the supersets. I, I've never done it before. And I appreciate it because it fucking speeds shit up. And dude, I was out of there. I took my time today and I'm going to get faster as I get more comfortable with all the machines and where everything is. It was only four sets total, guys. Okay, I'm running out of time. Let me, uh... So anyway, this is the last set of the day. A superset of hammer curls and rear deltoid flies. So here, 12 reps of 10 pounds. And that was just nice and, you know, slow and controlled. Dude, my... <clears throat> These biceps today were looking plump. They were nice, bro. And then the real deltoids flies, you sit on a bench and then like, you basically go all the way, like your body is like 90 degrees, not exactly. And then you, you basically lift up. And I did that with eight pounds. So everything's on the screen. You guys can fucking just pause it and da da da. Um, I don't know if it's fucked up to show you that, but that's just, I mean, I would have showed you anyway. If I, if I can film inside that gym, that is the ultimate goal eventually. I just need to find a corner that it's not like on anyone so that no one can like bitch at me. But if I can start recording in that gym, bro, content would be way better. But for now, I just have to do recaps at the end. And that was, that was the whole day. That was, it was four different sets. And I was like, God bless. My body's gonna be hella sore tomorrow. Okay, so let's go to the health app and let's review the walking today. So, so far, this is today's day, June 14th almost five miles i'm probably gonna go take a cheeky walk just to make that shit five look even yesterday we had 5.6 and guys look th this was the vacation week last week and look at us fucking stepping it up and look this was this was disney these this monday tuesday wednesday so we're picking that all right exclude the sunday the sunday doesn't count i hate when it does that but that's essentially what what we got going on and obviously the, these days don't exist yet because we're living in right now so let's see what that is in steps. So 12,000 yesterday's, I didn't show that yesterday. So and let's just see Monday. Monday was, Monday I didn't work out, remember? Okay, so we covered health. So let's go to my fitness pal. I only have 300 calories left and y'all gonna be, that's fucking nasty. So I was watching this guy, Brandon Carter and I saw every morning he has two cans of sardines. And I was like, ew. But then I have my own version of that, which is tuna which many people will say ew, but guys, I'm a fucking beast. I don't give a fuck. My taste buds don't give a fuck. They like it, so I can eat that shit out of the fucking can. And that shit's 19 grams of protein per, so I get hella protein first thing in the morning. It's not a lot of calories, so I definitely need to, I do want to introduce maybe a smoothie alternative, but for now, I have a bunch of cans of tuna, so I'm gonna just grub on those. Bom Pontisco, which is a Portuguese brand. I'm gonna read that on there. For lunch, so basically after I finish work, Working in my uh, part-time job right now. I then have eggs, three eggs, put some cheese on that, and then I put that MCT oil, and then we, I drink like a cup of milk. And then now this dinner, which I still need to finish, and I'm talking so much, but basically a pound of ground chicken now. Last week, I've been doing like ground beef, or before my vacation, just beef, 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 beef. So I'm switching it up. The chicken is less calories, which is unfortunate. So I need to like compensate with more food, but still good protein. And it, I think it's the anti-inflammatory meat because I think red meat is inflammatory apparently. So yeah, pouch of basmati rice, you know, one of those like you just 90 seconds in the microwave. Instead of me buying fast food, you can literally just walk into the store, buy a pound of meat, which is like, this was like 88 grams of, 88 grams of protein, all servings, if you eat all of it, this is what you get. 
Dude, the MCT oil is so clutch, bro. I'm so grateful for it. So, and I bought some ice cream today, so I'll, I'll devour that. And that'll help me cover the remaining 300. That is the day, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna work through this. And lately, guys, I've been grinding through some Kevin Samuels podcasts. And I recommend both men and women listen to him, but primarily men. And actually, he's more meant for like black men. But honestly, his, his information, his wisdom is timeless and like it literally applies to everybody obviously he had a specific focus on his culture but bro mad fucking sauce he really helps with just your attitude and your mindset of how to attack life how to approach it to win it's pretty simple but it's fucking difficult and it's a ton of work get a job 40 to 60 hours a week i'm like holy shit. i've always been a part part-time bum you know what i'm saying and he's saying all these great just it's all about focus we want so much because of the comparison we see on social media especially as a young stallion you want the riches you want the millions but you'll only get what effort you put in and what value you can create for the market and the world for you to get a million dollars you have to be valuable you have to be worth a million dollars or i can help someone make a million dollars that's why i would make that much back or i make someone 10 million dollars and i get one mil you get what I'm saying? Like, if you can barely pass $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month, 3000 it's like, you can't expect shit, bro. It's just, it's a message of competency is what I'm really appreciating. It's competency. He's all about your image, your public image, digital, how you dress, your wardrobe, how you talk, tonality, way you move, the, your your suaveness, your swag. Like, it's all these soft skills. It's, and the recent thing I was watching was you win in this world with EQ and not IQ. And IQ is know-how. EQ is know you it i think it was something like that and it was it's the way you win in life is people getting to know them really well interacting with them well getting respect from them things like that been really mind altering mind opening and i'm gonna keep grinding out his podcast i mean he basically did live streams and they'd be like two three hours long and i just sit and listen to that shit or i watch it so i highly recommend that i've been grinding those especially during my vacation <sighs> valuable shit and he fucking died fucking died which i'm like fuck i can never buy a consult from him you know what i'm saying like i'm getting to this shit now i feel like i've heard of him but then i didn't really like pay attention and now it's coming back and i graduated college i'm 22 and i'm like fuck the shit he's saying is basically the only advice people really need because that's all you can do the shit he tells you, you i ramble i ramble you know how it is watch kevin samuels god bless that man he's helping me out a lot so i'm gonna crush this and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday. It is the 16th, it's almost 4.30 p.m. And right now in front of me, per usual, we got a pound of chicken and a cup of white rice. This time I actually made it. I actually prepped it in the rice cooker, blended it with some nice, nice, now we're eating. So obviously I wanted to just recap what happened today. I took yesterday as my rest day. So today was a chest and tricep day. And again, there was only like four sets to do. So we had our breathing warm up, and then just basically 20 push-ups, and then two sets of overhead tricep stretches. So going like that and that. So set one, was the bench press and we do re reverse pyramid training but for the warm-up we had to do half of our our four rep so that was 65 pounds of the 135 that was the closest we can get to it and then you do the, you do five reps of your 10 rep max and so i just did half of the sorry it's like reversed on the ipad so it's sometimes hard to read so yeah we just had warm-up sets and then we fucking did it we still are hitting the same weights as usual i didn't use a spotter but for the next weeks coming up when i do increase weights i will get a spotter i'm so fucking nervous to like ask some some guy near me or i'm like what the fuck is wrong with you bro like i feel like literally everybody would help <laughs> but uh it's it's the little social fucking anxiety bro but i gotta get over that shit if i'm becoming a man in this world fuck i gotta go up to a man and shake his fucking hand you know Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's continue. So the next set was incline dumbbell press, 12 reps, and I did 20, 20 pound dumbbells. And you know, at the top, you just really try to like, I try to squeeze by hitting it at the tops. And you just try to, you know? That bench press already had you like fatigued 
So that's why I was doing it with 20 pounds. And guys, over time, I'm supposed to increase the weight. So I'm low-key kind of starting light so that the point of this though is to push you to your like max intensity, but I've literally been out of shape for so long. I have to ease in, bro. I'm not trying to risk an injury because I want to keep going with this. So as long as we increase weight, we increase strength over time. So this is going to be progressive overload type shit. So set three, tricep press downs these are pretty easy and i started with 30 thinking all right maybe 40 is too much and then as you can see i ended up doing 40 45 got challenging so next time i'm definitely going to do 40 and then at the end it's you gotta basically just do a bunch of push-ups at the end and i did 12 and then i can only do six twice and at the end you think you're gonna do so many but bro you're fucking done at the end of this i'm really happy with this fitness program so far i'm glad it's only lifting three times a week the thing i've been skipping out on is the in-between days you're supposed to do core and i've been neglecting that so that's definitely something to be better about for next week and this basically means like this week of lifting is done there's still more days to walk and shit so today's friday so we have saturday sunday but honestly those are going to be my chill days i think down back to chad's gonna keep concluding on fridays but maybe if i do saturday some something you know maybe i record and add it yeah so you guys can pause the video see everything that was on there and now let's jump over to the health app so as we can see going back to thursday we only walked 1.4 so as, yeah that's what i was saying guys my legs have still been sore since tuesday's lift my legs the, and it's i hate I hate the leg day one. It's leg day and shoulders. You obviously, obviously you saw it first thing in this video. But me just remembering it in terms of days, you know, as me right now. It's crazy how my muscles haven't had such stimulation like that, and how sore I was. But I, I felt great about it because that means my muscles are repairing, and now they're going to be stronger for the next time. So we're like like good but dude i was walking like an old man so for today friday we walked a total of 4.7 miles so essentially my gym is two mile walk and then i hit the gym and then a two mile walk back let's look at at the steps though so 11.7 thursdays was only 3,000. so you can obviously see this is the most actually no the one next to it was the most that was tuesday god darn. all right guys and before i forget that my fitness pal so this is how much we've already ate today we definitely need to catch up so we had some eggs the mct oil of course and then at the end we had tuna but i actually had two of them but i'm, I'm doing that for the protein this one's even the wrong one but my fitness pal doesn't let me make a custom entry the fuck and i pay for this shit anywho let's go to lunch so i made some white rice i had to pick some generic ass shit so hopefully it's 200 and then we have our chicken here I was getting a juicy 88 grams of protein. And I'm gonna go see my dad play music with his father. So there's gonna be dinner at that. So hopefully I eat this in time and then hopefully I have some room and then I can eat something for dinner, which should cover the remaining 700. So yeah, dude, this, this is a fucking hard grind, especially the eating afterwards. You know, the workout is one thing, but the food is just, it's so hard to eat. And that MCT oil is really coming in clutch with the calories. Then you, when you really got to eat these like, you know, pounds of chicken and this and that, it's fucking, it's tough. But, and I don't know how many weeks your boy is going to get nice and fucking ripped and shredded. And we're going to be a sexy mofo. That's all I can say. That's what I'm manifesting. And then not only that, we're going to be rich. Not only that, just a legend, like... I'm gonna be a household name. All right. Anywho, I'm gonna finish this. Continue the rest of my day. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. This might be the last clip, so if it is.